Chair, Ms. Lauder. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, it has been said that virtual reality is the first step in a grand adventure into the landscape of the imagination. Virtual reality, or VR, is the use of computer technology to create a simulated environment. And for a long time, it was very much a Hollywood fantasy. You think Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger, The Matrix with Keanu Reeves, or Inception with Leonardo DiCaprio. But virtual reality is a reality now, and the grand adventure is here with us today. Back in 2016, PlayStation released a VR headset for gamers. Samsung has a VR system that works with your phone. And some places you can go for an experience which allows you, for example, to work, walk on a tightrope between two buildings on, at the 80th floor level. And I attempted that recently in Shanghai, at Shanghai's tallest building. And I can tell you I couldn't take more than one step onto that narrow plank before I decided I couldn't walk any further, even though I knew in my mind that solid ground was just a couple of centimetres below my feet. I just couldn't bring myself to keep walking when I looked down and it looked like I was 80 floors above the surface. But it's not all about sky rises and fun experiences and big companies. There was a recent example much closer to home and on the 21st of May, Volunteering and Contact ACT had their annual awards night at the Arboretum. Of course, Volunteering and Contact ACT are the peak body for volunteering and community information services here in the ACT. They drive and influence policy, they advocate for their members and stakeholders, and they're an active link between, for people, organisations and the government. So I'd like to thank and put on the record my thanks for volunteering and contact ACT, especially Vicky Darling, the CEO, Sarah Wilson, the policy officer, and the other staff and volunteers who work at volunteering and contact ACT. So I attended the 2019 Volunteer of the Year Awards, along with some others in this place. I think Ms Lakuta was there, some other MLAs as well. And I know that I was impressed, inspired and humbled by the range, by the breadth, by the passion of volunteers here in the Canberra area. And I specifically want to talk about one group that won an award on the night, and that's the What's Your Reality volunteer team, who won the 2019 Innovation Award. So the What's Your Reality volunteer team was a partnership between Corwell High School, the YWCA Clubhouse, and ACT Parks and Conservation Service. And I'm very pleased that some members of that team, that volunteer team, are here tonight. So welcome to your assembly and thank you for coming. The team members of What's Your Reality volunteered their time to become topic experts in producing nature-based volunteer um, virtual reality. So specifically, their mission was to bring VR to people with a disability. And it was reported in the Canberra Weekly, and I'll quote, students worked with YWCA and Parks to plan film and produce the content which showcases experiences and locations that may be inaccessible for people with a disability. The VR experience was showcased to 40 young people with muscular dystrophy in December last year. And once inside the VR, each participant fell silent as they were lost in the adventure. Staff and carers watched as a room full of wheelchairs was brought to life through VR. That's the end of the quote from the Canberra Weekly. So this project, I'm so pleased that it won the recognition with an award at the Volunteering Awards. The target group for this VR project is a group for whom accessing the Tidbinbilla Nature Reserve would otherwise be difficult if not impossible. So thank you to each and every one who took part in the What's Your Reality volunteer team. Thank you for your kindness, your generosity, your effort, your innovation. Thank you for your work to make sure that VR is available to everyone in the Canberra area.
question is the Assembly do now adjourn. I'll call Miss All, but again, I'll echo the welcome 